Oshiwara, a tiny pocket in Mumbai's western suburbs, is a buzzing in real estate circles, with investors and home buyers being drawn here. The reason? Major infrastructural projects that promise to make this micro market a residential and commercial hotspot. Ashwini Priyolkar joins us with more of that. Oshiwara, with its proximity to Andheri and Goregaon, has always been on the real estate radar. But recent developments in the region have pushed interest through the roof among both buyers and developers. To start things off, the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority is coming up with the Oshiwara District Centre, which will be designed on the lines of Bandra Kurla Complex. We already prepared a scheme for uh, the area where we are a special planning authority. There, uh, we are expecting commercial development. As you know that, uh, we want to decongest the city of Mumbai. The Oshiwara District Centre promises to boost employment generation in the region by offering generous incentives for both commercial and residential development. Uh, you see in um, uh, BKC, uh, predominantly uh, more than 60-70%, 60% area is commercial area. Now in Oshiwara, you see, uh, we have increased FSI and uh, there is a condition that you know, out of the total FSI, there should be minimum 50% commercial. So, uh, idea is that uh, when you talk about commercial, there should be sufficient uh, residential area also to cater to that commercial area, so that people can walk to their offices. So, it is kind of walk to work culture. Even real estate major Suntech Realty is betting on this upcoming centre and have already launched their 23-acre township in the region. That's not all. Major infrastructural projects are also in the works with an upcoming railway station on the Western Line, which is in the final stage of operation and a flyover that connects Oshiwara to Jogeshwari Vikroli Link Road, both of which promise to drastically increase connectivity to the region. And this has got reputed developers like Kalpataru and Radius developers, among others, seriously looking at projects in the region. Growth outlook in Oshiwara is uh, it's a very well poised micro market. It's uh, not uh, priced as a upcoming. It is a little bit matured. And today's uh, scenario, uh, home buyers want less risk. That they are not going to suburbs which are emerging. So, do all these developments mean home buyers and investors should look at the region? Let's take a look at the numbers. Prices in Oshiwara have appreciated 6 to 7 percent annually, and the average price in this region is rupees 15,000 per square foot. Experts say this makes Oshiwara an attractive option for both. I would say that in the next few years, uh, it will be end users market, and 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 I do believe that. Uh, time has come for the right balance of end user and investors for for both it, it is good its excellent connectivity and upcoming infrastructure projects will give oshiwara an edge over other micro markets in the western suburbs but the big question that remains to be answered is will these projects be completed on time in mumbai ashwini priyolkar ndtv